de la tina. been a while you guys since I have been able to upload a video uh, but uh, it seems like finally I'll be able to do a little bit more here in this channel so last year I uh, got the better of me honestly I was full in my schedule um, I don't know if you guys know I did mention it I think before uh, and if not, probably in my stories on Instagram, but I opened a coffee shop with Edson, my boyfriend, and so, yeah, I guess a part of me really thought, silly me thought, that I could just continue doing my artist stuff normal, you know, just like I always did, and also manage a coffee shop, and <laughs> that's not what managing a coffee shop, like, it's not that easy, so... Um, yeah, I kind of had to stop doing a lot of the things that I had planned for last year to do and instead focus on making sure that the coffee shop was working properly and that everything was in order and, you know, like, it, it's been around kind of maybe six months or so since we opened it and everything seems to be working much better. Not that it wasn't at the beginning, but everything is just like more stable I am more stable I know you know yeah now I understand the effort that it takes and everything is a lot more stable and so I think that I can manage to squeeze in there uh, some videos from time to time because I do miss doing videos it's something that I honestly do as a hobby um, so I, you know, and that's also important to talk about because I probably won't be, like, I won't have a fixed schedule for when I'll be uploading videos. I think that I will just try to have fun with them and record, you know, as I did before, record moments in my creative process and in pieces that I'm working on and just share them with you for fun. I really enjoy uh, editing videos, but it is very time consuming. It is work. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely had to stop, but I'm glad I'm back, sort of. Um, yeah, so aside from that major update in my life with the whole coffee shop thing, which maybe I'll make a video at some point talking a little bit more in depth about it, but honestly, I do want to keep this channel just centered on, you know, art and drawing and illustration and stuff like that. And like coffee shops don't have a lot to do with that, so... Yeah, I mean, if you have any questions or anything, you can make them and maybe I'll answer them. But yeah, so aside from that major update, I guess I haven't had much going on uh, art-wise because I've not had the time to draw as much as I did at the beginning of 2023. 
Uh, but now I'm slowly getting back into it. I do have a couple of very exciting things coming up my way. So uh, this upcoming 17th and 18th of February, I'll be going to Ciudad de Mexico and I'll be attending to a art market where I will have some of my newest ceramic pieces, which aren't technically that new because I did them in 2023 and then I just never had the time to paint them but finally I sent them over to be fired today they're already painted and everything and so I'll be having them at that uh, at that art show I'll be having them ready for that uh, date and I'll only be taking a couple pieces because I do also want to make uh, I also want to make an uh, an update on my online shop um, so I'll probably kind of divide them half and half so half will go to the market and half will stay here so that once I come back I can start working on the shop update and not have to work from zero I would also love to add more pieces but you know just to give you an idea of what I'm doing um, so there's that and hand in hand with the art market, there's also going to be an art exhibition that they have invited me to be a part of. So I, I think I did mention I, in a previous video that I was invited to an exhibition and I participated with like the dragon, no, not the dragon, why did I say the dragon? No, with the tiger parade. Um, so now i've been invited again and this time the idea behind is so basically the the exhibit is called cartoon sadness and so it's basically valentine's day themed but a bit with the concept of lonely hearts and uh, unrecorded love basically so i had two options like either i could draw a in reference like a famous character that represented this idea or I could also uh, try to find like a song that represented this idea or I could do both so I, I think that the song option was the best one for me and I was you know like I wasn't very sure what I wanted to do in terms of the song because there wasn't like I didn't have any particular song in mind so instead I just tried to think about the concept of what I wanted to do which you know, I wanted to have something that had nature and flowers and a, day, a daydream-like atmosphere to it and that it was a bit more upbeat and not as sad as you would expect uh, a topic like that to be. So, and, and I think I did find the, the perfect song for it. It's called Silly Girl and it is by, let me see, I, I wrote it in here in my sketchbook. Uh, it's Silly Girl by Chloe Moriondo, basically. Um, uh, this is what I was drawing earlier. Probably, It's probably not going to focus, but anyway. So, yeah, I've been just sketching and thinking about the concept and just letting it marinate in my mind. And that's probably what I will be doing this week. So, the exhibit is... I think it's... No, I did say at the beginning, it's the 17th and the 18th of February. Uh, and today is, I don't even know what day it is. I never know what day it is. Today is 16th, so it's like literally a month away. But I do need to send it over before I go to the exhibit because I need to put everything together. So I do have a lot less time. Uh, but I do think I'm, like I have a good amount of time. Um, I also want to do like other sticker designs. I want to do sticker sheets um, and possibly make, not, not another, I don't think that I'd be able to do another illustration, but I will have possibly my latest illustration available at that uh, art market which is the tea party illustration that i did i really love that illustration i think that i'm moving a little bit closer and closer to what i want my art to look like and what i want to draw like 
what, like the subjects that I sort of want to draw. I still have a long way to go, but you know, like every time that I do kind of hit the nail with the illustrations and everything, it just feels really nice. So I'll probably have that illustration as well. Um, I, you know, like I guess once I finish the main illustration for the exhibit, I'll figure out how much time I have left to work on other things. Um, but yeah. But anyway, so I'm just gonna continue um, working on some other stuff, actually coffee shop stuff. I need to create some posts and stuff like that because I guess now I'm an Instagram manager or something. I don't know. So I have to do that. Um, but yeah, I'll continue working I'll probably on illustration tomorrow. And yeah, and after that, I actually have to... Oh, right, because I didn't tell you. So now I have a new kitty, new kitten. Uh, um, her name is Gelatina, which is basically like jelly or jello. Um, we called her that because she's crazy. And so whenever you just try to grab her, she just like, whoop, just, you know, like jello. So Gelatina, great name. Love her the name but anyway so I do actually need to give uh, to go to the vet and have her get her final shots um, and yeah just just taking care of this new little kitten Nina is actually not well at the beginning she wasn't very happy now she kind of tolerates it a little bit more I honestly thought it was going to be harder than um, than what it actually was, but I still think that they, they're, you know, like, I, I think she's very small right now, and she's, so she's really crazy, and Nina is so much more on the calmer side of the spectrum, so they kind of clash from time to time, but I've never seen them, like, actually fight, like, how cats can actually fight, um, you know, because they can escalate, like, things can escalate pretty quickly, but I've never seen them uh, getting like really really angry with each other it's always a bit of like a playful banter and they, they do get annoyed and they do get mad but not to the point that I think I should be worried um, I'm I have had some occasions in which I had what I've had some occasions that I needed to intervene but for the most part like nothing really that bad like they hadn't they haven't gotten hurt or anything so that's nice um, yeah so lots of new things happening um, <laughs> I will make sure to you know like fill you in as we go because I could just keep talking and talking and uh, this would be a pretty boring video probably but anyway so yeah I'll get <laughs> I'll get to work because I do need to get her shots today okay see you on the next clip
It's been a clean day here at the studio. Um, there's usually like a lot of dust um, in here, so I kind of tried to keep it clean by giving it a little dusting here and there. Um, but yeah, so oh god. Oh, yeah, as you can see, I've changed my space again. <laughs> um, I was feeling a bit kind of bored with the way that I had originally placed things here in the studio. So I just, I don't know, new year, new me, new space. <laughs> so I just switched up a couple of things. Originally, I had one of these shelves over there, the other side of the room, and I had uh, the other one in here, but usually I kept it with like pottery that was still not fired and just it was just there um, And yeah this year I just sort of want to make this space much better. So this is the first thing that I did um, I think I did this before the year ended so I have a couple of resolutions in mind that I have been Sort of like writing down so that I can keep them in mind. Definitely one of those resolutions uh, for 2024 is making this uh, studio space feel a lot more like a working space but I also want for it to be just in general a creative space so I just um, think that showcasing a bunch of things that inspire me and make me happy is definitely gonna work for that so yeah <laughs> Um, my idea is to have everything filled with manga and comics and graphic novels and books that I've read that I really love, that I really like. And so these are some. I still have some left tucked away that I haven't brought here, but that's mainly because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to place things here and I don't want to bring everything out just yet. So that's resolution number one. Um, I think that I also, you know, tied to that, I would really love to read a lot more because I haven't read in a very, very long time. I think last year was definitely a very busy year, so I didn't get to read as much. Uh, but I was also like not in the mood for that. Um, and at the end of the year, I started buying a bunch of uh, comics and graphic novels that I had wanted to read for quite some time didn't actually read most of them but just getting them, receiving them, seeing the covers and seeing them home made me get into that sort of reading mood so yeah, I already also have a list of books and just comics that I would like to read and I hope that I get to do that I've actually started um, I'm currently reading uh, oh, sorry so these are the books that I'm reading currently. I oh, I have them over there so that I, you know, like free time, in my free time or whenever I want to rest from working, I kind of just read a couple pages or, you know. So, and this is the first one that I, I'm reading. So it's People, the people from my neighborhood. Um, this is a collection of short stories and I didn't expect them to be that short. They are incredibly short. Each of them lasts around three to four pages, which is crazy to me. I didn't expect them to be that short. But I guess it was like a really good pick to start getting into the mood and into the rhythm of reading again. I'm enjoying it. It's it's a fun read, definitely. So yeah, that's one. And the other one is this one, which is uh, Understanding Comics. This is a reread because I read it back in college, like five or four years ago, I think. So I read it back then, uh, but now I want to get the second book of this series, which is Making Comics. And so I'm just reading it again so that I can have it fresh in my mind once I start the other one. So uh, yeah, that's what I've been reading. So that would be like my second resolution of the year. I definitely want to read a lot more, uh, make the space better is the first one. And then I think that I also want to make a lot more comics. You know, I had so many ideas last year, but with the whole um, ordeal of putting a coffee shop, I really didn't have that much time and I had to postpone a lot of projects that I was sort of brewing in my mind. 
So I put them on pause and now that the year is starting and everything seems to be much more stable than it was uh, when we just were starting with that, uh, I think that I can definitely get back into it. So I'm gonna slowly start planning on these comics that I want to write. Um, and yeah, so that's something that I would also love doing. And the last thing that I definitely, definitely want to get better at is taking care of my plants because with the whole having a coffee shop thing, I completely forgot about them. I stopped watering them uh, properly. Uh, there were weeks where I was barely here at all. And so it was really hard to have a watering schedule for the plants. So. Most of them survived quite well and I'm really happy about that, but I did lose a couple of them. <laughs> so uh, this one being one of them, uh, this one kind of died on me recently, honestly. I, she was doing kind of well and I don't know, in my head I was just like, I bet she would love if I just changed her entire environment. So I just kind of switched her to to a different pot because she was originally on a plastic pot um, and then she died so <laughs> that wasn't a great call on my side and I apologize for that I'm really sorry because I really love that plant so yeah and then uh, the other one that died is just like gone she's not even here anymore I'm so sorry I feel so bad talking about this um, but yeah and then this one over here is one that was at the coffee shop originally. She wasn't doing that well. She lost most of her leaves, so I just brought her back here. And uh, I think she's doing well because she gave some leaves in here that are still quite baby. But I mean, I guess that's like a good sign. Uh, she hasn't given any, oh God. <laughs> well, she hasn't been giving any other leaves, so, but she's not dying i mean except for this right but um so hopefully she'll be doing fine i'm trying to take care of her as best as i can so yeah <laughs> sorry um but as for the rest of the plants they seem to be doing pretty well this one even gave me flowers this year i am so happy about that Seeing flowers here is just something that makes me incredibly happy. Uh, they're already dying, but I think that's normal. I don't know how long these flowers uh, last. I think this is like a Christmas cactus, I think that's the name for it. But yeah, I mean, like they came out, they bloomed very beautifully, and I guess now they're just like dying because that's the natural cycle of them. But I'm not worried because uh, there are more buttons coming up so I think everything is okay and yes I think the rest of my plants are doing great hopefully I'll get better at that as well um, but yeah <laughs> so what are you guys' resolutions for this year just uh, tell me about them while I continue to just clean the space and everything <laughs> Pasan los días y todo, y un día de pronto, un juez que le habla y le dice, lo logré. Logré atrapar a gente de mi casa en una estatua. ¿Y aquí? ¿Cómo? Mañana lo voy a llevar a la escuela. No, manches. Ya veo que... Es bonita y me inspira mucho respeto. Yo sabía que era una cultura muy venerada, muy respetada, una con una creencia muy arraigada y muy poderosa alrededor de ella. Así que en lugar de googlear 
el ego en ese momento me nació Um, hi, so I'm here with Nina, who just doesn't want to get off <laughs> my desk for now, so I guess I just, I can't do anything else. But the good thing is that I did finish the uh, tea shop sticker sheets, uh, and I'm really excited. I am going to be sending them over for printing, probably on Monday, and I will also be picking up the pottery that I... Uh, left in the studio to be fired in the studio that I fired my my pottery pieces um, And yeah, I think What's next is probably me working on the piece that I'm going to be sending over for the art exhibit and Yeah, uh, we're pretty much uh, Quite there. I'm very happy to be back. I'm really happy that I've had the chance to record again and share with you some new things that are going on in my life. Um, I really hope that I get to continue doing this more often uh, or at least once a month because, you know, doing videos is fun for me. So yeah, I guess I will see you in the next video sometime soon. Thank you so much for watching you guys and take care. Bye.